what is going on guys it is Ashley here welcome back to another Ashley video today I'm going to be giving my review on my new PC uh, which I've had for a couple of weeks now um, it is a HP Pro 3550 if I'm not mistaken uh, but um, yeah I'm just going to, to start off with, I'm just going to give uh, my overall opinion uh, on this PC. And now, I do think this is a very, very good PC. The specs, um, it's got a 3.4 GHz Intel Core i3 processor. Uh, it's got 4 GB of RAM. And it's got Windows 10 on it. Microsoft Office 2007 bundled with it. I would have liked uh, a more recent version of Microsoft Office to come with it, but at least um, at least it's got a Microsoft Office on there uh, rather than uh, no Microsoft Office at all. But uh, yeah, um, one key important factor that I like about this PC that is that it's got Windows 10 on it. Now Windows 10 is my favourite operating system uh, from Microsoft out of like the options of probably Windows 7, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. Out of, out of those if I had to choose one I would choose Windows 10 uh, as my favourite. Um, I really like it. Uh, the only thing that really bugs me is the start menu I, I can get used to it but I much prefer uh, have the classic start of it so that has, uh, is what um, uh, I've done I've installed the classic start uh, onto uh, my machine and uh, yeah um, uh, the, now there's no problems uh, with me using the start menu and uh, yeah, let's move on to the second point, which is video editing. Now, I haven't done much video editing on this. Uh, in fact, I've only done, I've only edited one video on this. But from what I can say, from that video that I've edited, it's just really, really good I, I I didn't expect it to render so fast it literally rendered I used Sony Vegas on there and it literally rendered in like 10 minutes it's like as as, as good as my Mac I, I literally I, I was so shocked when I when I clicked render uh, on that Sony Vegas file, it literally rendered in 10 minutes, and I was so, so shocked at that. I could not believe how quick it took to render. So, yeah, um, if I do come uh, to edit uh, another one of my videos uh, on there, then I'll definitely not worry about the time that it's going to take if I... If um, I'm in a, um, in, if I'm in a hurry uh, to upload it, if I'm going out or something in like like an hour and a half or something, uh, I would definitely rely uh, on my PC uh, to do that. And uh, yeah, recording side, like the recording side, like the screen recording and stuff, I haven't tried. I've tried downloading OBS, but I don't know what it is because Windows 10. Uh, on it do doesn't let me I install the program it says it says your PC cannot open this program or can't run this program which is very weird because it, it let me download it and stuff and it installed fine and stuff but when it came to opening it and stuff uh, I, don't, I don't know why it didn't let me open it says this program can't run on this computer or something like that and uh, yeah I was very perplexed uh, by that uh, but um Yes, uh, as to like Xbox recording and stuff, um, I haven't tried it yet. I was going to record all my Wolves Korea episodes for the main channel on it, but um, I realised I couldn't. Um, 
because I was literally, I only have one monitor on my setup and I use it both for my Xbox and my PC, so, yeah, um, and, and plus, it's not like an Elgato 60fps, um, I haven't got an Elgato, I've got an Ava Media, um, a capture card and that isn't like 60 fps so so like it does have uh the software does have like it does have a a like preview window so you can see what's going on but it's a bit like a couple of seconds behind so um it's not really that useful uh, because obviously when I'm, when I'm playing games um if if like the other team has scored a goal um, I won't know until like two seconds after it happened on the Xbox. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of a delay in the response time, so I couldn't do that. Um, so I, I, I didn't I didn't try, uh, and and uh, that's why I didn't try and record it. And I tried editing the, the editing side of it, and I I I, I don't know what it was. I I, I couldn't. I couldn't drag the the files across. It it just couldn't do it. I I uh, so I, I don't really understand what was going on there either. Um, so yeah, that there, there are some good points to this PC, but uh, there also are a couple of bad points as well, uh, which I can't do. So like the editing is very fast, uh, but like the eight like. As far as the Ava Media and like the Xbox recordings go, you can't, like I can't edit them on the PC at all, which was what I, I was planning to do, but I could, I couldn't, uh, and that was very, very frustrating for me. Now, finally, uh, the gaming part of it, uh, I've tried a few games. First game is Sims 3. Now, the Sims 3 just runs absolutely beautifully on that PC uh, it's not meant to be a gaming PC it's got an Intel Core i3 it's not meant to be a gaming PC it's meant to be like uh, a productivity uh, kind of PC up um, it's not a gaming PC so um, for it to be running uh, a game when it's not a gaming PC um, that is uh, props to that PC there, uh, that is another good point about this PC, it can run at least one game. Now, the second game I tried was FIFA 15 demo, now, um, there was FIFA 16 and FIFA 17 to try out as well, but I didn't, uh, dare go for, uh, FIFA, FIFA 16 or FIFA 17, uh, no way FIFA 17, because, um, I think uh, FIFA 17 needs like a, a way higher spec than what I had on the PC. It needed eight gigabytes of RAM. I only had four, so I can. It was out of my reach. Uh, so I downloaded FIFA 15, and it was quite laggy, but at least it ran because on, on my old Toshiba laptop that I used to have, I tried the FIFA 15 demo out, and. It, it didn't get past like the loading screen so for it to get past the loading screen um, I'm gonna give the PC that but, uh, but, uh, but as far as gameplay goes I'm not gonna give props to the PC because it, it didn't do very well and uh, yeah the final game uh, I tried was another FIFA. It was FIFA 14. Now this one was way better uh, than the FIFA 15 demo. I've still got it. Uh, the Sims 3 and FIFA 14. I've, I've both still got uh, it on the PC because they both ran very well, and I was very pleased when I fired them up, up both for the first time um, because. Sims 3, as I said, was very good, uh, but FIFA 14 uh, was on par with that, if not better, um, which was good to see. And um, yeah, um, um, both, both of the games I'm, I'm getting uh, very much 
uh, enjoyment from, so, which is good. Um, and uh, yeah, it came with almost 300 gigabytes of space, which for what I wanted to do with the PC is more than enough to be honest. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy overall. Uh, there are a couple of bad points obviously about it, but overall I'm very happy um, with this PC and hopefully it can serve me for the next two years at least. So uh, yeah, this has been a full review um, uh, of my new PC that I got a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I did a first impressions video, uh, so if you want to see that, click here. And if you want to see, if you want to see what my channel is about and more videos, uh, and possibly subscribe, click here as well. So, uh, yeah, until next time, goodbye guys!